what's up capricorn and welcome to your reading all right so we're going to be jumping into it um but first let me give you guys some of the vibes that i was catching now your vibes are different from any other sign that i've done thus far okay you guys got some very very i don't know if it's crush x reconsidering being back with you a current boo thing it's like somebody sends you love vibes like they they either text but it's not just so much as what they say what they do or even from afar like how you know they feel it's more so about the telepathy that's what i'm catching so strong with you and i haven't caught that with any other sign but it's like they wonder like okay if you're not together let's say you're in separation or let's just say you're at a distance from each other right they wonder if you can feel the love vibes you know that they send you Ooh, the high priestess of fire the love vibe those passionate vibes because what i'm getting is somebody somebody and it may for some of you guys this may be a crush a crush who observes you from afar but like when they see your pictures online or when they think about you it's like they strategically send vibes like you know if i could pick up some arrows and throw them in your direction and then when they hit you they give you like this magnificent feeling that's what they doing it's on it's intentional oh that's the word thank you oh my goodness intentional so someone sends you intentional love vibes and even if they don't talk to you even if they don't see you they wonder do you like do you catch it like do you sit there and be like pow and it hits you and be like oh my goodness what is this magnificent feeling and then you think of them or something like that like i don't know let's get into it whoa too many too many but i'll take that one now remember we're going to start the reading off here and then we're going to head over to the patreon okay so that's the vibes that i'm getting we're going to see um i'm open to receiving any other information that wants to come through um because this first card that came was obedience all right now some of you guys what i was getting for uh some of the other signs was this thing of strange instructions tell the people that they're going to be getting strange instructions like for me i'm on candle duty as you can see if you head over to the patreon i got a whole video of me having to um you know do some spiritual work and it involves me doing candles i mean everything down to the the color of my nails being painted my nails are called uh joy that's the name of this color so i'm getting a lot of strange instructions i'm doing what i'm told i'm operating out of obedience you are no different you have to do the same thing so whatever you're being told to do um do it okay let's see what else we get Ooh, chaos now when this card comes up it generally means that maybe something that was once smooth sailing has now taken some type of i don't know twist and turn um, maybe this is also what some of you guys are about to avoid, or maybe this is why the obedience card came up first. Some of you guys are about to avoid major disaster by doing what you're told. For example, me, listen, there was some things going on. People trying to do some things just as people want to send you love vibes. People can send you hate vibes too. So, um, in order to avoid certain things, you have to do what you're told. So... I don't know who this is for. Some type of warning. Like, I don't know. I even got an evil eye bracelet on. Shout out to my daughter for putting me on. You know, uh, I mean, I've always known about these kind of things. But like, it was like when she said it, it's just like everywhere I went, I found it. I'm serious, y'all. Everywhere I went, this thing showed up. I'm talking about keychains. I go to a whole nother neighborhood on the other side of town. They got them with the little fortune carrot gold rings on it. Like, come on, man. I'm not playing. Like, when spirits need you to do something, it's because they're trying to get you out of the way. Okay? Let's see what else we got. Uh-oh. Man. And you're going to know exactly why. For some of you guys, you're hinging on, on the edge trying to know what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Well, it says chapter one and then it says the end. Grand opening, grand closing. So something is about to, you're going to get your answer. You're going to get your solution. And you're going to know why. Listen, sometimes you don't get to know why in that moment. But with cards, 
coming out like this, it lets you know. And even for some of y'all who feel like you're in the middle of chaos right now. Oh, wow. I just caught that. Wow, wow, wow. The reason why you have somebody from afar sending you love vibes and wondering if you have love, if you can actually feel the love vibes and catch that moment of bliss or that moment of feeling really magnificent is because they feel like you have chaos going on in your life. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give you another example. Let's say someone's in jail, right? And you know, it's rough in jail. So you send that person love vibes or you pray for them throughout the day, or, you know, you send them, you know, just high vibrational energy. You send them well wishes, right? Even though you don't see them, even though you're not talking to them, you still send that good energy their way. And you wonder, do you get it? Did you feel good for a moment? You know, something like that. So someone feels this way towards you. They feel like maybe you're in this chaos and they wonder, can you feel my love? Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. What is the center of the reading? Oh, six of wands. Look at that. Maybe some of you guys have a lot of attention or you're really popular. And that brings its own set of, you know, energy. This is also the arena and the realm that you're stepping into. Also, some of you guys may have someone who is like of a higher status or like a well-known name looking at you, interested in you. You also may have someone, this is also like, let's say somebody is famous or they're in a, a specific industry and there's a lot of like chaos, a lot of traveling, a lot of moving around, you know, a lot of stuff like that. And like, even though they're always on the road, they're still thinking about you. Wondering, are you catching the love vibes that they're sending? Regardless of where they are, where you are. No matter the distance, all that kind of stuff. Let's see what it's crossed by. Oh, the death card. So something is changing and something is shifting. Or this is what happened. Something changed and something shifted. Maybe something in the person who is sending these love vibes to you. Maybe there's something chaotic going on with you guys. Maybe I'm getting like, maybe like this was like a whirlwind relationship. Or it's fun. Like it has a lot of great ups, but the downs are like down. But something is shifting and something is changing. And something is going in a new direction. Let's see what, what direction this is taking. Because for what I'm getting, I'm getting something about unpredictable. So maybe this person's career is unpredictable. Again, it's always a bunch of twists and turns. I got to be here. I got to be there. Or this is what you're going, you're about to go into and it's going to complicate some things. Um, but I can get unpredictable. Like we don't really know which direction this tornado is going to go in. It's going to go in either direction. This is totally like they're in the NBA. They're about to get traded. We don't know what team da da da. We got to move from state to state. It's like, it's fun, but it's still kind of chaotic and whatever we do, it always shifts and changes. And it's like big major changes. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Deep root of things, deep root of things. Oh, First thing I got is somebody just got their independence. So this is being single. This is also someone um, changing something because of someone's popularity as well. So this is, again, like something that changed, something maybe was chaotic. This is also a breakup. Two people become a single or one person becoming you know well duh if y'all both break up y'all both single i guess but this is a woman just kind of standing in that energy or a man take it how it applies so this is why the person is sending the love vibes it looks like it is a breakup a separation chapter one the end okay you know all whatever chapters was in between it still came to some type of end so this is a breakup and this is the person still sending love vibes towards this person anyway Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the recent past and see what, what is going on or how do we even get to this? Mm, the past. Okay. So the, the past is in the past. I forgot who I got that for, but I got that with somebody else as well. Uh, something about maybe somebody saying, let the past be in the past or hoping or reconnecting with someone from the past, a past energy. This could be, um, Maybe someone 
reminiscing about what you had, the memories you created. I'm also seeing someone looking through old pictures with you. Okay, so maybe this is why they're sending those love vibes. They're not maybe looking at recent pictures of you single solo online, male or female, take out how that applies, but they're looking back at old past pictures of you. All right. This is also to me saying that this may not be who you think it is. This could be like a childhood friend. This could be, you know, someone that, I don't know, it was a brief encounter, but you guys shared a moment or had a good memory together. Okay, right, summer fling or something like that. Let's see what's going on in that um, headspace, though. Oh, the expectation. But they expect this to come around again. See, this is the reason why they're sending love vibes your way. They wonder if you can feel those twinges of, like, little excitement, um, like that person standing there at that dock waiting on that ship to come in. It's like you're excited. The excitement is building. The, the rush is being felt. Um, their adrenaline is pumping because that ship is coming in. I'm seeing it kind of like that show back in the day, like forgive or forget where you're standing at the door. And when the door opens up, either the person is standing there, but and when they stand there, that means they forgive you. But if they open the door up and the person is not standing there, that means they don't forgive you. And, you know, it'd be people standing at the door salty, like, oh, and they start crying and falling out because the person won't be standing there. Then, of course, when they open the door, somebody's standing there, they all run and hug them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all, some of y'all probably too young for that. <laughs> you don't even know nothing about that show. But this is what they feel. It's that excitement, that adrenaline. Like, I'm going to open this door or I'm going to open my heart to Capricorn. For some of y'all, they see that you may have broken up with somebody else or that you're single and they want to come in and say this all together. It has nothing to do with, you know, a breakup. You just so happen to be single. They just so happen to be single. And they're excited to get ready to move forward standing at this door. All right, here come Capricorn. I'm getting ready to shoot my shot. Or I'm getting ready to deliver my message, you know. Send that DM, send that text message. Oh, uh, here they come. Next time I see them at work or whatever. And would you look at here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I can't even, man, I'm trying to finish my sentence. Yep. So somebody's excited. I was trying to get to the near future, but it's just kind of like, bad. the near future got to me. And that's probably how it's going to be for y'all. Like, I was waiting, you know, I, was, I wasn't even, you know, I'm standing here. And what I wanted ran into me. You know? Cute couple right there. Yeah. So, this might be the chapter one and the end. For some of you all, it may be the ending of one relationship. And then, you know, healing. And then something else comes in. You or this other person. It could be, you know, vice versa. It could have been you and someone else from the past took a break from each other, but now this person expected this thing to come back on in anyway, and then they do come back on in unexpectedly. They're, that's king energy there. I like it. And then once you come on in, it's like chapter one, we met or we reconnected, boom, and lived happily ever after, the end, you know? But either way it goes, um, thank you so much, King of Pentacles, for jumping on out. King or queen, take it how it applies. I feel like this is the person who is saying, yo, are you catching these love vibes that I'm sending your way? Because I'm trying to really get you to open up or like make room, make way, make way, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm trying to get into your heart. All right. Maybe that's what this is all about, too. This six of wands, because this king of pentacles is like very high profile. Got the coin, got the bag together. So male or female, take out how it applies. It's like they may be high profile. They may have popularity. They may be in the public eye, famous, celebrity, any of those kind of phrases. All right. I miss a lot of high vibration. Energy. A lot of people are figuring out how to tap in. So things are moving at like hyper speed. So a lot of people are kind of, especially the uh, millennials with the social media. I mean, if this is, you know, no disrespect to any other people or anything, any other generations. But if you're a millennial and you were born into the internet era, then it's only right that you become famous and rich off of your 
what your generation helped to build, you know? And then all other generations, you know, they do the same thing too. Just get in where you fit in or any generation. It's a lot of money on the board. I don't know why I have to feel the need to go into the money vibe, but I feel like for a lot of people who are trying to manifest money, tap into it, tap into it because it's possible. It's absolutely here. Absolutely here. Get on that vibration. For somebody out there, your advice, listen to the different frequencies. Get on YouTube, right here on YouTube. And type in, like, you know, money frequency, money affirmations. Play those all day, all night. Play them in your sleep. Put it in your subconscious. You'll be amazed what you attract. Let's see. What is the fear, though? Okay, so this person who's sending these loving vibes towards you, you know, you're the king of pentacles. What's up? Uh Uh-oh. Oh, wow. So the very same thing that makes a lot of people like this person may be the very same thing that they think would turn you off or make you run in the opposite direction or vice versa. This person is afraid because even though they're popular, even though they have a good footing in life or they have a good job or they are, you know, great and praised in their community, you may also be a star too. You could also be, you know, in the public eye. So it's like, Or what I'm getting with this is like my match or like my equal. So where this person may be used to dating people who are, you know, you know, they're cool, they're great, they're wonderful, but they may not have as much popularity or a platform as this person. It's just like when they look at you, it's like, well, you might have a lot going on too. It's a cute little couple, okay? So either this person is afraid that their star power may be, or their, I don't know, their wealth or their money, I don't know, may be too much for you, or you're, they're afraid of your star power, okay? Interesting. Okay, so we got some high hitters, and that's why this death card may be there too, because it's like, this is a game changer. This is different. Like nothing ever, like nothing they ever had before. Interesting. Wow. Let's see how you're being viewed right now. How is Capricorn being viewed right now? Oh, so this, remember what I was saying about this person is sending you love vibes because they feel like you may be going through chaos or they may from afar be feeling or picking up vibes from you. Like you may be having a lot going on in your life. They may feel like as again, a star, there's a burden to carry. As for some of y'all who are, you know, high profile celebrities popular in your neighborhood, you are the head of the company, all of that kind of stuff. This person may see that you go through a lot. There's a burden to carry. Okay. For some of you all, this may be the fact that they see you as single and like you need, I don't know, maybe you have children too. Yeah. So let's see. Let's clarify that why do they see you as the five of cups like doesn't this king doesn't he look concerned king or queen take it how it applies don't they look concerned yeah let's just see i want to clarify this why do they see you as this whoa the high priestess of spirit wow so telepathic communication is telling on you capricorn Uh Uh-oh, this person know your secrets and your spirit. They can see your spirit. So this is funny. Well, it's not funny, but it's like they can see what the world sees. But they can also see your spirit and they know something is down. Look at that. Like this is usually a good card, but in retrospect to how it's coming out with this five of cups, can you just look at her face and his face? It's like they can feel that this is not them seeing you physically. This is what they feel spiritually. And this is why they send you love vibes. This is why they wonder, did you get that moment of bliss? 
I sent you a love vibe. I wonder, did it pop you in the face and, and make you feel all tingly all over? Okay. This is, and I'm, I'm hearing that like, this is so funny. I'm hearing that old Christian song. Somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, took the time and prayed for me. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed for me. You know what I mean? And this is what this person is doing. I wonder did God uh, send them something good on my behalf. You ever prayed for somebody like that? Like, God, just send them something good because I prayed for it. Like, they may not even be strong enough to pray for themselves or not even know to ask for that. But send it to them, you know? And this is how somebody's looking at you. They may not know exactly what you need, but they may feel it in their spirit that they need to send you something uplifting. This doesn't have to be an always state of being, though. This is not like depression and like that. It's just kind of like they see something the average person can't see because they take the time to know your spirit. That's deep. Come on. Come through, whoever this is. Near, far, wherever you are. Okay, let's see. What is, um, what is the hope? Oh, okay. Well, this is the slowest moving night in the deck as the tarot choir says um they take their time so this person may have left y'all could have had some connection from the past they could have left they could have been a night you know still trying to get it together still trying to learn still trying to grow still trying to collect the bag but the hope is to always maybe return one day the expectation of this thing coming back around, maybe when the coast is clear, maybe when the tornado is gone. I mean, imagine them trying to come back in with that going on, with that tornado. It's like, yeah, that wouldn't be smart. You somewhere hidden in the basement, you know, protected, and they just out there on the horse. It's like, nah. So they had to wait for all of that to clear up, but that's why the near future, they're coming back as the king. So maybe somebody had to take some time, some separation to get themselves together. Uh, this is screaming to me the notebook, right? How he was a knight, you know, when they broke up or whatever. And by the time she got back to him, he had the house together. They were, he was ready. He was a king. Sometimes it took that little separation for them to get what they needed in order to, you know, be able to make that future last or make that future even better than it would have been had they not taken that separate time to get their own separate life and then come together with the realization that they really was like, Twin flame, soulmate, we just got to be together. Something like that is going on here. For some of you all, it may not, again, don't have to be, it may not be a person from the past. This could be just a crush, somebody watching you from afar. This, ooh, you know what I just picked up too? This is somebody's future husband or future wife who praying for you even though they don't know you yet. It's like telepathically we're connecting with each other in the 5D and I can feel some things going on in your life and I'm sending you positive vibes because I want you to be healed enough so that we can hurry up and come together in this 3D realm. Man, some of y'all getting prayed for and y'all don't even know it. Your future husband, your future spouse who you have yet to meet is already praying and covering you. Come on. Let us see what we have in the final outcome. Then we're taking it to the Patreon. Now, keep in mind, we're doing the Jealous Energy, the X Energy, and we're going to do the next 30 days, okay? So let's see what is the outcome of this. Oh, wow. The Judgment card. Now, traditionally, this means things being brought back up. So something that was once thought to be, what? Dead, dormant, over. Then is recycled uh, and now is a spirit, right? Or, you know, goes back to original form. Okay. So childhood, sweetheart coming back, something from the childhood, a person that you haven't seen in a long time, a person from the past, somebody you have memories with that thing being called back up, that thing being pulled back up for a new purpose. So the first purpose thinking about this was walking around in the human suit and then that calling back up purpose is recycling back to that spirit form or whatever but again this is to um that angelic i don't know i, I want to call it a trumpet but i'm feeling like a like that soft-winded voice the i love you's and the 
I hope you're having a great day and I'm sending you positive vibes and like all that kind of stuff. Like that, like, like, I don't know, asking the angels to speak to you on their behalf. And then trying to help like manifest or bring this thing in. This I also just heard lift your spirit. So someone like they're, they're blowing the trumpet or they're sending these vibes to help lift your spirit. Let's see. Let's get one more to wrap it up here and we're heading over to the Patreon. Ooh, hope. So you have someone who's not only trying to lift your spirits, they're sending you hope. They're sending you good vibrations. They want you to, I just heard they want you to be strong. So I don't know who that's for, but they want you to be strong. I guess healthy and whole. So when y'all do come together, you know, it's two whole people, a king, queen, take it how it applies, a king, a king, a queen, a queen, whatever you prefer. It's coming together so that, you know, two healthy people can love each other properly. So they're sending you hope. They're sending you love. They're sending you vibes but it's not just the fact that they're sending them they want to know are you receiving them so some of you guys need to open up that what green heart chakra and receive the high vibrational love prayer and support from it could be love now for some of y'all this is you know family this is friends this is people from afar with well wishes but open your heart chakra to receive the love and well wishes of those who genuinely uh, are sending you hope inspiration love healing all right those are the things you want to be receptive to so wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, King of Pentacles. I think uh, I think we're gonna talk to the King of Pentacles, okay? And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you as the star. So we're gonna do that. So when we talk about the next thirty days over on the um, Patreon spread, this is who I want to focus on. I want to focus on this person and actually the chapter one and the end. We're gonna put that there. So that's automatically going to be for that. Then we're going to talk about the jealous energy that you need to be aware of. It's always good to check the, check the temperature in the jealousy realm to see what's going on. Then an X. We have to see what's happening there. So if this is where it ends for you, thank you so much Capricorn for all of your likes, subscribe, shares. I appreciate you all so much. And um, until next time, happy manifesting.